Hello guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can be able to remove the ugly WP login to your own custom design, just like the one you were seeing here. This was initially what we were having as our login page and currently this is what we are having as our new login page. So I'm going to show you how to first redirect your default login page of WordPress to your new, your own set login page that you just created by yourself. So without further ado, let's just go straight into the tutorial where I'm going to be to walk you through how to do go about this. Hello guys, you're welcome. This is Kingsley from Blast Channel. In case you just joining me for the first time, please ensure you subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you can notify each time I upload new video or so that you'll be the first to get notified whenever I upload content like this. You can see I just created this login page. Let me just go over here. You can see, let me copy the link and open it in an incognito window since I'm already logged in here. So you can see I created this login page in case you actually want to learn how to create this particular login page. I'm going to drop the link. In the description box below or i'm just going to pin it at the top here so that you be able to click on it and learn how to uh, customize your own login page you'll see both login and register i have a video where i actually showed how to go how to do this particular how to customize your login page this week so you can just click on the link below or just check above and you will have the link to where you are going to be able to watch learn how to do this so i'm going to now read that you can see from here you can see this is our default let me just this is my default wordpress login page so if i should try to log in now it's going to take me to this particular page so you can see it's not really looking beautiful and i want to make use of this particular page for it so now let's just i'm going to show you how to go about it in the next few minutes so let me just go ahead to show you what to do. So I'm going to go to what you're going to do. I'm going to make it serve some a code snippet. So I'm going to just go and to add new. Then you search for WP code. That's the one I'm going to be using. WP code. Just search for WP code, and you can you will see it here. Just install it and activate it. So I already have my installed and activated. So I'm going to just go ahead and come here and click on add snippet. So I'm going to click on add snippets. So I'm going to be dropping the link, the snippet code we are going to be using. I'll be dropping it in the description. I'm going to drop the link to where you get it. So you just copy the code and make use of this. So I'm just going to log in. Let me yeah, log in. Let me just name this as login condition. Login condition or login redirect. Anything you want to just name it. Just this is just for you to be able to know what to do. So now I'm going to select php so i'm going to select php and so after selecting php i'm going to paste the code we are going to be making use of so why i actually prefer we use it code snippets is because each time maybe if we should do it in the function.php in uh in our team file by the time you update your team you can see you see that your changes is going to go off so so that's why i actually prefer your using code snippets for any custom codes on your site so I'm going to just add the this the codes the this I'm going to be making use of. So I will drop the link to where you can get have this downloaded. Now uh, where you can copy this and make use of it. So now what um, let me explain what we are having here. Now you can see on this particular side, this page you can see where I have the new login link, new login page. Now you might have created just as I did on this particular page. You can see. Let me go to all page. Just as I did in this particular side, you can see I have a, my login page already created, which is this particular one we are having here, which is this particular one. So now is the link of this page I'm going to be adding to that particular page. So to that particular site. So I'm going to now go over here. You can see where I have login. So this slash actually means anything my home URL, then adding the login. You can see this is how it is you can see that's how it actually is on yeah my home url then the login so that is what i'm going to be how so if yours let's say for example yours was to be 
let's say our uh, login page if yours was to be login page you just make use of login reader uh, change it to login page but mine is login so that is why i left it as login so once you just this is where you are going to update the link of the login page so once you've done that we are just going to come here and on this that's all we just turn this to active as you turn it to active that's a, there's nothing else you can you will be doing here just save your code snippet so and then you save you can see it's saved it's saved so um it's now active so what i'm now going to now do is to go ahead and see if this actually works you can see this was the test one i this is my initial wp login page now let me try to refresh this let's see what happens you can now see the magic you can see i can now log in using my default login page. So let me just try to log in into the site as the fourth let me just try to log in and you'll see that boom i'm logged in i feel like i started to actually log in once it locks in it should redirect me to my home page you can see that was how i can if you check the uh, tutorial video you can see how it is so that is you can see everything is working out perfectly well for me so now yeah, i believe this video might have actually helped you in changing your default the ugly default wordpress login page to your own customized login page that you want to make use of so on if you're still watching this video and you've not yet consider subscribing to my channel please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you can notify each 